Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. It's Polyester here and today's Thursday, so there was a dev stream today, so let's talk about it. So one of the most surprising things that happened this week is Chandler Riggs, you may know him better as Carl from The Walking Dead. Carl! He tweeted out to Dead by Daylight with this tweet, uh, at Dead by Behavior, bros, the emblem system is horrible. Please, for the love of God, revert it. <laughs> Which uh, got everybody up in arms like, oh my gosh, this is arguably the biggest celebrity that we know of who plays Dead by Daylight, and he had a comment about it, so it was uh, pretty interesting. It came out with some funny memes, as you can see here, and uh, no word on if he plays on um, console or PC or what his username would be, but I'm going with uh, Pudding Boy 123 so that was kind of funny um and that leads me into the next segment which is about the emblem system survey so they have this emblem system survey live right now and as always i always encourage you to participate in these surveys to have your voice heard so that you can help shape the direction of the game um they admitted that they overreacted too quickly when freddy came out to nerf him so they don't want to change anything drastically there are tweaks and adjustments in the works for this system but they don't want to do anything with knee-jerk reaction they just want to gather data and make changes a little bit further down the road so they need this input from us they are going to change things they realize that there are some emblems that are more difficult to obtain than others such as um, chaser for killer or benevolent for survivor and they're going to make adjustments along the way i know that change is hard and there are a lot of people who find this emblem system to be very frustrating and controversial. Um, again, I'm going to link the Reddit post that shows you a graphic for just how you score in every category for your own information in case you want to figure out you know, where you need to shore up your game to do the things that the entity is requiring of you to gain these emblems. Personally, I just want to rescue people and have fun. I don't really care about my rank. My rank only held me back in the past because when I would go survive with friends and I was rank one, getting carried to rank one every month, and other people weren't similar ranks that I was, then I would have difficulty in finding matches, and it would just lengthen my lobby time. So I don't really care about my rank at all, but that's just me. I know some people uh, are very concerned about pipping and the ranks, and I understand that. I appreciate that. But me personally, the game has not, as of yet, given me any reason to care about the rank. If at the sometime down the road there's going to be incentive if you hit rank 1 that you're going to be given a cosmetic, then that's a different story. But right now, I don't really see any reason to rank up, so I'm just going to play and have fun. And I would recommend the same to all of you, but of course your mileage may vary in this. But please participate in the survey here so that we can get it tweaked. And they mentioned that they are changing the reporting system. If you want to report somebody for an infraction, they're closing the external report form and they want you to go to the in-game report form now that those are actually doing something and they have somebody on the other end who is improving the system. And they're also going to use this system to move towards the ability to soft ban people for infractions on console, which I have been told they have they were unable to do up to this point. And this system is also going to um, make sure that people know the reason why they were banned right away from now on. So that's going to be helpful too. So they said that with dev stream number 100, they're going to change the formula of the dev stream. Today's dev stream was number 97. So in three weeks, they're going to revamp the format of the dev stream. Don't know what that means. Um, they did acknowledge today that information is going to be a little dry between now and June. So maybe they're going to bring in more guests to talk about different segments. I don't know exactly what they have in mind. But there is a survey, and hopefully by the time I go to publish this video, you, I will have the link to that survey for you so you can participate in it because they want to hear from you the kind of content that you would like to see in the dev stream. What do you want to see them talk about? So, um, yeah. Number 100 is going to revamp the dev stream, so we'll see what that brings. And Behavior is hiring. They uh, Since they broke away from Starbreeze, they found that they need to add more staff. So I believe they said they're adding 80 positions to Behavior in Montreal. So if uh, you're willing to move to Montreal or live in Montreal already, 
and have some skills in, uh, let's see, well, let's look over the list of jobs here. Uh, graphic designer, gaming programmer, marketing artist, 3D character artist, 3D animator, character concept artist, etc., etc., art director, then this may be an opportunity for you. Um, I guess once they announced that they had 80 positions, the everybody who wanted to look and see what the jobs were crashed the behavior site, but it should be up by now. And looking over this list, it doesn't seem like they have any positions for janitor, so I don't think there's anything I'm qualified to do. So, uh, But good luck to any of you who uh, want to go off to Montreal and pursue um, a career with behavior. I think that would be really cool. And for stats this week, they showed us this graph that has the escape rates versus all of the killers, depending on whether or not they brought add-ons to the game or not. And um, then they broke it down here on the left. You can see it's whether or not you were going against a rank 1 to 5 killer. And then on the right-hand side is if the killer was rank 20. So obviously, rank 20, the escape rates are all going to be higher. And in fact, if you look at the Wraith all the way on the right, and uh, where's the other one? Um, the second one in, the Doctor at rank 20, actually do worse statistically if they bring add-ons to the game when they're rank 20, which I found funny. But anyway, so on the left-hand side here, we have rank 1 to 5. And of course, Hillbilly is king, which is, comes as no surprise to anyone. But it looks like the killers that benefit the most from bringing add-ons are the pig, Freddy, and the doctor all benefit the most by bringing add-ons into the game. And those escape rates drop significantly compared to the other killers, whether they bring add-ons or not. Like, uh, Hillbilly looks like he's right around a 30% escape rate. You have a 30% chance of escaping from... A rank one to five hillbilly he's the strongest in the game that's all there is to it but pig's not too far behind when she brings her add-ons and uh, doctor too they're they're pretty tough there if they have some decent add-ons so consider bringing add-ons when you're going into those games as killer unless you're rank 20 then apparently they're only gonna hurt you if you're the doctor or the wraith I don't understand those statistics but and this is something that's so interesting and they always comment on this about how at rank 20, you have such a high chance of escaping. Like, it's it's 65% escape rate against a rank 20 nurse just because the blink mastery takes some technique. But then when you see when you get down to rank 1 to 5 where people have perfected their blinking, she's right in there with everybody else. But she gets exposed at rank 20 just because the blinking takes some feel to figure out how to do it. Anyway, that was a pretty interesting graphic, I thought. So, I hope you enjoyed it. So, they updated on Steam the inventory icons uh, for your game. So, they actually have icons for all the items that are in your inventory. As you can see here, this is mine. And it has all of my, uh, my packs and TwitchCon exclusives and things like that in here. Red shirts for Left 4 Dead. And um, look at this one from my friend Nero. He bought the Weekend Claudette, um, I don't know, maybe a month or two ago. And in his inventory, it actually has these pants for Claudette that he never got. So I don't know if that means that that was scrapped, but he got the inventory icon for it anyway, or if it's something that's going to be updated in the future. But apparently this Brazil Weekend green top for Claudette was supposed to come with this matching shorts and shoes. And... It's kind of disappointing now to see the icon that she didn't get it. So I don't know what's happening with that. And I'll segue that into these King Kong shirts. They, these showed up in the game files when um, the emblem system patch went live. And everybody said, what are these King Kong shirts? And I was racking my brain trying to think, they can't just make King Kong. That's a licensed character. Does that have something to do with the new chapter? What is this King Kong and so today they revealed that these King Kong shirts are for an Asian streaming broadcasting service similar to Twitch. And um, those are for people who are high profile in Asia who use this King Kong streaming service and play Dead by Daylight on a case-by-case -case basis they can apply for and be given 
these King Kong shirts if they broadcast on that platform. So that's what those are for. They don't have anything to do with the next chapter. And then um, similar to these Twitch shirts here that you, you see that they have. And then somebody sent me this image. And I was like, is, is that real? There Are there really YouTube shirts coming? And uh, could, could I please get one? Because I, I can't get a Twitch shirt. I tried already. Somebody told me they weren't even giving out Twitch shirts anymore. And then someone sent me this Russian twitch application form for to try and get a twitch shirt through rush the russian uh, mods and i filled it out just to take a shot in the dark but i can't get a twitch shirt but I, hopefully i could get a youtube shirt i think that would be cool hopefully this youtube shirt is a real thing and that would be cool and i know that they said they're not going to do any exclusives anymore but i guess these are partnerships with these various broadcasting services so that's like something beyond just an exclusive that they just give to anybody as like a requirement to be a representative for the brand to get these so that's something different i suppose but uh yeah so there you have it that's the mystery behind the king kong shirts and hopefully these youtube shirts are real and i can get one maybe please so and while we're talking about cosmetics so we know in june that's when the new chapter is going to come out with the new killer, the new map, and the new survivor. And they're also going to launch the cosmetic store, which is going to have all the new cosmetics for killers and survivors. And maybe some old cosmetics. They talked about it today and said that some of the things that are um, licensed to like certain individuals or certain events, like the Taipei gaming event for the, the Ace hat, those won't be offered in the cosmetic shop and uh some of the streamers who have exclusives that chose not to put their exclusives in the charity case those were not are not going to be available in the cosmetic shop but um perhaps like the dweird or the daddy jake some of these that were more generic giveaway exclusives for twitchcon or packs those may be available for sale in the cosmetic shop but nothing's certain yet but more is better, so I would always say that whatever they can put in the cosmetic shop will be welcomed by everyone. And again, the cosmetic store is for everybody on console too. Once this cosmetic store goes live, you will be able to buy whatever skins that PC can purchase. You should be able to get those on console as well. So cosmetic shop is for everybody. And they were asked what they're doing to alleviate killer frustrations. And they said that they're actually working on stuff internally, testing things regarding pallet loops, uh, pallet vacuums, hex totem spawn locations, and even addressing some of the more meta perks, such as decisive strike. So killers, there's hope on the horizon. They're testing some stuff here. They, they realize that they will have to probably downgrade bloodlust if they do make some of these changes. But they said they are looking at reworking the way that certain jungle gyms spawn, so that they can't be so easily looped. And um, they do want to try and even this thing out. So we'll see where it goes. Um, testing testing sounds good. Testing sounds like they're actually working on stuff. And it isn't just theory. They have changes that they're looking to see if they actually work and are viable. So hopes on the horizon along with the, the closing of the hatch. There's, you know, there's going to be things there for killers. So keep hope alive. And they said that the next community event is also going to take place in June. So June's going to be a big month for Dead by Daylight. The game anniversary, the community event, new chapter, cosmetic shop. It's going to be a big one. It's going to be exciting. It's probably going to be dry for information from now until then. And um, I am actually not going to be here to give you any info for the next two dev streams, number 98 and 99. I should be back on the scene for number 100. But I'm going to be out of the loop for the next two dev streams. Um, they admitted that they'll probably be dry, so maybe you guys won't miss much in the next two weeks, or maybe I won't miss much, I don't know. But I, hopefully you guys can keep me in the loop for a change. Hit me up on Twitter if there's some really cool images or sneaks of stuff coming up. Um, we were talking today about like how many different sneaks we had week after week for the Doctor and um, the Huntress. And I, I could think of three that happened in three separate weeks. So we might not see anything 
about the new chapter sneaked until like three weeks before the anniversary event. Or maybe it will be a little bit sooner than that because they told us that they're going to push out um, a public test build for PC in some format probably two weeks before the chapter goes live. So that might be some sneaking in itself, um, depending on to what extent they want to reveal things about the new chapter for us to, to play in the public test build, whether it's just the map we're trying out with none of the characters. We don't know what it's going to be, but that in itself should be somewhat of a sneak. So I would imagine that they would want to sneak some other things before that. Maybe this, um, this revamped format for the dev stream number 100 will bring us our first sneak or maybe something will come up sooner than that anyway i won't be here for the next two so if there's something juicy please hit me up on twitter and let me know i look forward to it and honestly that's all i have for you today it was a pretty short and sweet dev stream and not a lot was discussed i've told you everything i think is important hopefully you found some value in that as always thank you for watching and have a great day Bye bye